Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Arjawi. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed deepest thanks to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for the issuance of royal order appointing him as National Security Advisor. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa pledged to spare no effort and work with utmost dedication to oversee Bahrain's national security policies and strategies so as to preserve the kingdom's high internal and external interests. He noted that the royal order issued by His Majesty the King is a catalyst for us to exert all efforts in the coming period vowing to work with utmost dedication to achieve His Majesty the King's vision. He paid tribute to the His Majesty the King hailing continuous royal support as a source of pride and a catalyst to exert all efforts for the sake of Bahrain's national security. And the National Guard Commander General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa congratulated the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity, Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on his appointment as National Security Advisor. He stressed that the Royal Trust reflects the honorable efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa in various national forums, wishing him success in serving the kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. And the Minister of the Royal Court, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulation to the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity, Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on his appointment as National Security Advisor. His Highness said that the Royal Trust reflects the honorable efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa in various national forums, wishing him success in serving the kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty the King. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with the British Foreign Secretary of State for Middle East and North Africa, Andrew Morrison, as part of his official visit to the UK. During the meeting, the Foreign Minister affirmed the depth of the historical relations between Bahrain and the United Kingdom, which are based on respect, mutual appreciation, joint work and close bilateral cooperation. He praised the important role played by the United Kingdom in maintaining security and stability in the region and the world. For his part, Dr. Morrison praised the development of the distinguished relations between Bahrain and the United Kingdom and the continuous keenness on joint coordination on various fields to meet the aspirations. During the meeting, they also discussed the latest regional and international developments and means of pushing forward the efforts to consolidate security, peace and stability in the region as well as finding peaceful solutions to overcome the challenges facing their countries and people. In a related context, the 12th meeting of the Bahraini-British Joint Working Group was held under the chairmanship of Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, who represented the Bahraini side, and Dr. Andrew Morrison representing the British side. The meeting witnessed a wide participation and a representation by a large number of ministries and government institutions in Bahrain, during which they reviewed the course of the friendly relations between Bahrain and the UK and ways of consolidating and strengthening them and the move towards broader levels in various fields to serve the interests of the two countries and the two friendly people. Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed and Dr. Morrison also signed the joint statement of the 12th meeting of the Joint Bahraini UK working, Joint Working Group. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with the UK Minister of State for International Trade and the former chairman of the Bahraini Friendship Group in the British Parliament, Connor Burns, as part of his official visit to the UK. The minister congratulated Burns on his assumption of the post of Minister of State for International Trade, expressing his pride and appreciation for the distinguished path of friendly relations between Bahrain and the United Kingdom. He also praised the continuous development of bilateral cooperation in various fields, especially economic and trade, stressing the importance of exchanging visits between officials of the two countries to open wider horizons for relations at all levels. For his part, Conor Burns expressed pride in meeting with Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed, noting the progress witnessed by Bahrain at various levels, wishing the kingdom further progress and prosperity. 
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, attended a reception ceremony held today by the Bahraini British Parliamentary Friendship Group in cooperation with the Embassy of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United Kingdom. The reception ceremony took place in the House of Commons to mark the Minister's visit and the 12th meeting of the Bahrain-UK Joint Working Group in the presence of the Ministers, diplomats, MPs and media professionals led by the Secretary of State for the Middle East and North Africa at the UK Foreign Office, Dr. Andrew Morrison. The UK Minister of State for International Trade, Connor Burns, and the UK Special Envoy for Freedom of Religion or Belief, Rahman Chesti. In his welcoming statement, the minister expressed his delight to attend the ceremony and meet with a large group of Bahrain's friends and took pride in the good ties that date back over 200 years, affirming the depth of the relations between the two kingdoms, based on joint work in all political, cultural and economic areas, and on common interests to promote the security and development in the region and the world at large. For his part, the chair of the Bahraini UK parliamentary group, Bob Stewart, expressed appreciation to the Minister of Foreign Affairs for his presence, stressing the importance of the strategic relationship between the two countries. He unveiled his intent through his presidency of the group to strengthen the existing bilateral cooperation ties for the benefit of the two friendly countries their officials and peoples for common interests. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, participated today in the opening session of the annual meetings of the Board of Governors of the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank in Washington, D.C., which will be attended by central bank governors, ministers of finance and development, senior officials from the private sector, civil society and academics to discuss issues of global concern, including global economic prospects, poverty eradication, economic development, and aid effectiveness. The minister stressed the importance of the annual meetings of the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank Group through discussions and exchange of views during the seminars and sessions of the annual gathering and highlighting the most important international economic and financial issues and the agreed outputs. He stressed the keenness of the Kingdom of Bahrain to participate in these meetings because of its firm belief in the importance of international cooperation in the development of future visions for all mankind and discuss the economic and financial topics of interest to everyone as well as to strengthen the prospects for international partnership. And the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa participated in the annual meeting of the World Bank's Human Capital Project on the sideline of the participation of Bahrain in the meetings of the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank Group in Washington, D.C. He affirmed that Bahrain is investing in citizens as a focus for all its development projects due to its absolute belief that national caterers are its real wealth. He pointed out that the kingdom has occupied a privileged position in the global indicators for its keenness to stimulate investment in all the vital sectors that have positive results to support development processes in order to achieve economic and social sustainability in the light of the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The minister noted the quantum leap in the healthcare and education sectors, which are considered key pillars in the growth and sustainability of effective human energy for their effective participation in growth, citing the programs and initiatives undertaken by the Kingdom to stimulate investment in health and education to achieve economic development and job creation. The Minister of Finance pointed out that Bahrain is one of the leading countries in education and this year celebrates the 100th anniversary of the modern renaissance of formal education. It also continues to develop the education sector to contribute to achieving distinctive outcomes based on creativity, innovation and the development of national cadres. He also noted that the achievements in the health sector were the result of the launch of a series of modern projects to develop public health, which contributed to maintaining Bahrain's distinguished position in human development indicators. The minister praised the kingdom's attention to women and its keenness to achieve all that would benefit the progress and development of women, pointing to the great effort made by the Supreme Council for Women and its implementation of several quality initiatives in integration with the government agencies, the advancement of women and the enhancement of their role in development. 
A Bahraini delegation participated in the meetings of the International Monetary Fund and the World Banking Group to discuss the achievements of the kingdom in the field of business and enhancing the role of Bahraini women and progress. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain, according to the report issued by the World Bank, enhances its global competitiveness, especially in the economic field, to achieve more successes and contribute to encourage various aspects of investment in all the vital sectors. He also said that such a move creates more quality, promising opportunities in support of the March of Comprehensive Development of Bahrain, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Minister of Finance and National Economy pointed out that the real GDP of the Kingdom of Bahrain continued its positive growth with the stability of the oil production rates and the continuation of the non-oil sectors, the growth rate of 50% over the last 10 years. Noting that the launch of the financial balance of the program and the continued implementation of key initiatives identified with its work mechanisms and performance indicators contributed to the continuation of Bahrain's steady growth towards achieving its development goals at all levels. He also said that the preliminary statistics of the physical balance program achieved to date reinforces confidence in the ability to reach the balance between expenditures and government revenues by 2022, where the total deficit level was reduced by 38% according to the statistics of the first half of 2019. Compared to the first half from 2018, non-oil revenues increased by 47%, oil revenues increased by 10%, while administrative expenses decreased by 14%. For his part, the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Mr. Zayed bin Rashid Azayani, said that the Bahraini team, including the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism team, were keen to promote the principle by amending a package of legislation aimed at simplifying, accelerating and facilitating the conduct of commercial activities. In addition, he said that the Kingdom of Bahrain is ranked very high in the indicators of doing business, which is reflected in the World Bank's announcement of the list of the top 20 countries with the best improvement in the index of ease of doing business, doing business 2020, including the Kingdom of Bahrain out of 190 countries comprising the index. For his part, the President of Customs, Sheikh Ahmed bin Hamad Al Khalifa, stressed the success of the Kingdom in the implementation of the most important development initiatives such as facilitating the startup and doing business in the kingdom and this has been proven by the customs affairs winning first place in the award of best government practices for the project of economic and customs information governance during the discussion session the meeting also reviewed the most important achievements of bahrain in the process of issuing building permits which is one of the most important bases and indicators of ease of investment in the kingdom and an important element in moving the wheel of the economy. They also reviewed Bahrain's pioneering experience in the field of the advancement of women which was reinforced by the national work system that integrates all parties to integrate the needs of women in development and enhance their role and progress through supporting the specific programs and initiatives offered by the Supreme Council for Women. The session concluded with a review of the areas of economic transformation and foreign direct investment in the kingdom, where it was able to assume a leading position in the technological sector by harnessing its capabilities and potential in a number of important projects in the field of financial technology and the use of modern and innovative technologies in the economy to contribute to provide more investment opportunities, promising economic development and ensuring its sustainability. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Khalid Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, met today with the Chairman of the Board of Directors of BNB Paribas, Jean Lemier, the Managing Director of Lazard, Head of Sovereign and Public Sector Advisory, Michel Lamarche, and the Director of Lazard Government Advisory Group, Hamoud Ashqir, on the sideline of the Minister's participation in the annual meetings of the Boards of Governors of the World Bank Group and the International Monetary Fund in Washington, D.C. During the meeting, Sheikh Salman highlighted the important role economic reforms provide by bringing together international economic decision makers alongside financial and advisory firms to exchange views and contribute to the formulation of promising opportunities that can benefit the world economy. Sheikh Salman further highlighted that with the help of Team Bahrain, 
the kingdom is steadily moving towards achieving its desired development goals. The minister noted that the government's achievements over the last year includes the introduction of the physical balance program, which has promoted positive growth and strengthened the kingdom's physical position. The meeting provided the opportunity to discuss topics of mutual interest, including an exchange of views on the latest developments within the world economy. The governor of the Central Bank of Bahrain, Mr. Rashid al maraj also attended the meetings. The Minister of Labor and Social Development, Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Labor Market Regulatory Authority, Mr. Jamil bin Mohammed al humaydan chaired the working session on regional cooperation in the presence of labor ministers and heads of delegations participating in the fourth ministerial consultative meeting of Asian countries, sending and receiving labor, Abu Dhabi Dialogue 5, held in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. Hamidan stressed the importance of concerted efforts to make the Abu Dhabi Dialogue a success in creating a suitable platform for enhancing cooperation between the governments of the countries participating in the forum and to provide an advanced model for developing the management of labor mobility between countries to serve the exporting and receiving countries of employment. During the working session, Hamidan reviewed Bahrain's distinguished experience in protecting the rights of temporary migrant workers. He pointed out that this category of workers contributes to the development of the economy at various levels. He also noted Bahrain's many initiatives to provide decent work and protect the rights of temporary migrant workers and through advanced national legislation based on the principle of non-discrimination and ensuring equality and justice. The minister pointed out that Bahrain has approved an integrated program to combat human trafficking and has implemented a number of initiatives and projects such as the establishment of the National Committee to Combat Human Trafficking, the establishment of a Center for the Protection of Migrant Workers, and the National Referral System for Victims of Human Trafficking. Hamidan noted that these positive steps put the Kingdom in the first category of the U.S. State Department's report on the classification of countries in the fight of combating trafficking in persons for the second year in a row.